<laughs> Let's head into the kitchen and uh, oh. see what Brian and Marguerite I, I like, are working on. You guys, I like the rain. We were just I talking. Do too. We haven't had to turn on air conditioners. The heater's off. Not to water the lawn. Not to water the lawn. Baseball games. Yeah, yeah so we're we're set down here. But we are in the kitchen, of course. Uh, Marguerite Henderson is joining me today. She's a dear friend. I've known her for years, and also a renowned cookbook author and a chef. And so it's always an honor to have you with well, me today. What are we doing? We're doing spring asparagus mm -hmm. now. This is May, it's asparagus season. The prices are somewhat reasonable now. Mm -hmm. So um, I've picked up about two pounds of asparagus and when you buy an asparagus uh, bunch, always look for the tips, make sure they're really tightly closed, that they mm -hmm. haven't opened up and they haven't flowered. And this is the, the width of the asparagus I kind of like. I don't like the really fat ones and I don't like the really skinny, skinny ones. So I like them sort of somewhere in between. So when I cut asparagus, I just take one asparagus spear break it and see where that one goes. And it's about two inches off the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then I take the rest of them, make sure all the tips are down. Mm -hmm. And where that one ended up, you cut off the rest. So you're not sitting there breaking each one individually, mm -hmm. okay? So to keep them nice and bright and green, they're just two ingredients that you add to your, your boiling water. Um, a little bit of kosher salt, maybe about a teaspoon of kosher salt and then about a teaspoon of oil. Could be olive oil, canola oil, whatever oil you want. Then you add your asparagus. That keeps them really green as you're cooking them. Okay, so, so are you are you just blanching, blanching. or are you going to well, cook them? Well, we're gonna cook them. We're not blanching, because this is like the, uh, this is the cooking process. Okay. So I like to just have a pot that's big enough that you can get all the asparagus in just so they're somewhat covered with water. Cover the pot. This will be about three minutes. And some people tend to overcook their vegetables. Most people do. Yes. I have to say. So, <laughs> so when you take out the asparagus and it kind of just limps in your hand, uh -huh. overdone. It's a little overdone. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So we're going to let that sit for about three minutes. Now, this minutes. recipe is out of your newest it's, cookbook. Right. I love it's it. called small, small, par small Parties. Oh, Small Parties. And oh, that's my second cookbook. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So this is on page 94. Okay. So if you have the book. We're going to talk more about this when we come back. We'll finish this up with a wonderful herbed crumb that topping goes, with it. That goes on okay, top. Okay, guys, we'll mm -hmm. finish this up. Back to you in studio. Well, Looks right. great. Thank you. You bet.